Welcome to Hamer Reviews, my name is Christopher Hamer and today we're going to be reviewing the Manfrotto 128GB uh, CF Express Type-B memory card. Now, Manfrotto is actually a company I'd probably associate more with tripods and with lighting equipment, but actually they do make a range of other products and they have recently started selling CF Express Type-B memory cards and indeed memory card readers. Now I've already done a review of the memory card reader and there's a link to that above at the moment, um, so do check it out if you want, but today we're going to be focusing on the memory card. Before I go into the detail on it though, just very briefly, the CF Express Type B memory card space and indeed market is, to be honest with you, quite a difficult one to traverse. The reason for that is that there's a huge amount of uh, cards being sold by a lot of different vendors, and the challenge therein is that there's lots of different performance characteristics. Now, if we remember that CF Express Type B memory cards really are aimed at videographers and photographers, the actual performance of that memory card is really significantly going to impact the actual ability of your camera or video camera to do its job. This is especially true if you're talking um, videography because you might not be able to shoot at certain frame rates and certain resolutions if the memory card that you're using isn't capable of writing speed to it or having data written to it at a fast enough speed. So. It is hard. I certainly struggled, especially when I first had my Nikon Z6 and XQD cards were still more, or had become more expensive than CF Express cards because CF Express cards had come down in price a bit quicker. Buying those sort of, even like by ProGrade and other companies actually would sometimes limit the performance of the device or camera you're using. Now the um, Manfrotto card here has a read speed of 1730 megabits per second and a write speed of 1540 megabits per second. In theory, <coughs> in theory, that is more than enough for any task that you can throw at it. But there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye because what actually matters is the sustained read and write speed. So although those peak numbers look great on the box, what really ma should matter to you is what can the memory card that I'm using do in terms of performance over a long period of time. If you're writing video to a memory card for 10, 20, 30 minutes, perhaps you know longer than an hour, then you need to have a memory card that can keep up. Now, what I'm really pleased to say is that this particular memory card will be able to do everything you need it to do if you're using Nikon's um, own ecosystem. So if you've got anything from a Z6 to a Z9, I'm very confident that this memory card will be able to work with all the features on all of those cameras, including 8K video recording on the Z9. Now, although I don't currently have a Z9, um, I rented it to do my review of it, uh, the reason why I can be so short is I was actually comparing the speed of this card to the um, Angelbird 512 gigabyte AV Pro SE, um, and this is quite a bit faster than that card, and I was able to shoot 8K video with that other card, therefore this will work fine. And in fact, let me just grab the numbers for a second, because this was significantly faster than the Angelbird in many cases. So. I tested them both on two different CF Express card readers. Uh, one was the Angelbird card reader, and one was the Manfrotto one you see in front of me. So testing between those card readers and memory cards, I actually found that the Angelbird memory card was performing to about between 820 megabits per second to 860 megabits per second. So that's on the Angelbird card reader and on the Manfrotto card reader respectively. And then the Manfrotto card was actually getting between 860 up to 990 uh, megabits per second uh, sustained write speed. So, I mean, that's a, a very respectable result and will allow you to shoot pretty much anything you want to. I also tested the um, Delkin devices, uh, 128 gigabytes um, card that I have as well, uh, and I found that that performed quite similarly to Manfrotto, uh, within 10 to 20 megabits less um, in most cases. So overall, I was really impressed. It, it definitely gives you the kind of performance that you'd want. Now, if you buy one of these, um, it's going to arrive in the usual kind of memory card box that you get, uh, which I've now totally destroyed, um, and a uh, 
memory card case as well. The nice thing about CF Express Type B cards is they are metal construction, um, so you're less likely to find that these break. One of the issues I always have with XQD cards was that the rails on the side were made out of plastic, um, such as the one on this uh, Sony XQD, and you'd actually find that bits would break off it. Them being metal, that's not something I'm going to worry about here. Um, overall, this feels like it's well constructed, it's made in Taiwan, um, for what it's worth, and yeah, overall I really like it. The last test that I conducted, um, if I can bore you with a couple more numbers, was running it through my Nikon Z6 II and seeing how many shots you could take before the buffer fills, because I think that's a really good indicator of how fast the camera can write to it. Now, please bear in mind the Nikon Z6 II is not going to be writing um, to this card at full speed, um, but I found I could get between 79 and 82 photos um, in a burst. That was um, full quality JPEG fine plus raw in the uh, largest size. The Angelbird memory card I was getting 76 to 78 pictures and on the Delkin I uh, had some anomalies there. I had a couple times where I got around 60 to 70 and a couple times where I got 70 to 85. Um, so not quite sure, maybe there's something not quite right with that memory card, but um, that was the uh, result there. And then the final test I did was looking at how long it would take to clear the buffer completely after doing that total burst. And with the Manfrotto memory card, which we have in front of me, it was around 15 seconds. Uh, for the Angelbird was around 15 seconds as well, and for the Delkin was around 16 seconds. One thing for Nikon users uh, that I did find very curious and kind of wasn't expecting um, was that the Sony XQD memory card that I have uh, managed to shoot 81 photos and cleared the buffer in about 14 and a half seconds. Um, but bearing in mind I was pressing the button on a stopwatch on my phone, despite the fact I did it a few times to get an average result, um, there's obviously going to be a bit of a delay between you know, hearing the camera stop and pressing the button and seeing the light going out and pressing the button. So to me those are all within error. The main thing here is that this costs £160. Now that is not the cheapest memory card you're going to find, but it's some of the highest performance at that price point that I've found, at least from my experience. Therefore, I would happily recommend both actually, the CF Express memory cards by Manfrotto and indeed the memory card reader as well, because I think the memory card reader is especially good value at about £46. Uh, they also do the memory card in 256 gigabytes at about £307. Now that's not bad either, um, you know, at the end of the day it depends how much storage you need. 128 gigabytes is probably great if you're shooting uh, 1080p video or if you're um, mostly shooting stills. If you're shorting, shooting 4K video, I'd probably want to step up to 256 gigabytes. Um, and if you're shooting over 4K, although this is more than capable of shooting 8K video, you're probably going to need to think about uh, higher uh, capacity memory cards. Um, and fingers crossed that we see those from Manfrotto as well. Interestingly, on, on the back, they do have it listed up to 512 gigabytes. So perhaps we'll, um, well, in terms of like the how many photos you'd get, so perhaps we'll see a 512 gigabyte version in the future. But overall, this is a great little memory card at a pretty competitive price. So probably one you can uh, safely buy. Hopefully you found this review useful. If you have any questions about CF Express Type B memory cards, the Manfrotto memory card reader or memory card itself, pop them in the comments section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that as it really helps me out. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up because that also helps the algorithm to make sure that my videos uh, get seen by as many people as possible to provide as much help as I can. Thanks very much for watching and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.